Hello, Shermans, and welcome to this video. And today I want to talk about the shop a bit. I mean, I'm going to play the M4 later, so if you want to know a bit more about that, stay tuned. I will go into that bit as well, because obviously I don't want to make two videos on, on one thing. So let's talk about the shop and all the offers that are in the shop and how to find out which ones are worth it, which ones are not, so you don't always have to rely on some other review. You know, because ideally, you know yourself. You don't have to watch me to know whether a tank's good or not. You should try to understand it yourself. I mean, I would still appreciate it if you watch me, but that is optional, obviously. So, how do we start? We're going to start at the bottom with something that you should absolutely ignore, and that is crates. Crates are never worth it. Crates are designed to not be worth it. So any crate that is in the shop is to be always ignored. No matter what, they are never worth it because they are designed to be not worth it. If you do think they are worth it, then congratulations, you've fallen for the marketing trick. Then, premium time is nice, however, you can get it in bundle deals a lot more efficiently, so I would just ignore this as well. Same with the gold. There are these deals down here. There are these things, whatever, just ignore these as well. They're also horrible. They're simply designed to make you spend more money. You know, you get the gold, you get the crates at no extra cost to Wargaming because the only thing Wargaming has to do is press a button and then they have more crates. They have no cost to making these. So it's a, it's, it's a great deal for Wargaming. It's a bad deal for you because what ends up happening is you do get extra stuff, but then when you get a tank, basically the way this works is you get extra stuff and they're like, hmm, these crates seem amazing. I want more. And then you can buy more crates and Wargaming makes more money. So, essentially, you didn't gain. You just lost to marketing again. So, just ignore those crate bundles because they're, again, designed to drag more money out of you. A lot of bundles are doing that. A lot of bundles are designed to drag a lot of more money out of you. Then we go to the tanks, and this is where it does get a bit more difficult. Ideally, what you want is a tier 8 or tier 8 premium tanks. Those are the best, most of the time, value for your money because they make good creds and they're also good to do good damage and stuff like that. Tier 10s generally are overpriced. I think the ones that can be worth it is like a Chieftain for 20,000 or a T22 for 20,000. Everything else, like a Badger or whatever. They just... Why would you do that? That's a bad idea. Then what also is an absolutely horrible idea is any tier 8 that is above 10,000 gold. Any tier 8 that is priced above 10,000 gold is absolute ripoff. That is not worth it and never will be. Tier 8 premium tanks are not worth more than 10,000 gold. Remember that. Same goes for crate tanks. They are never worth that. Now, you have bundle deals like this where each individual isn't over 10,000. So that can be considered. But oftentimes, these bundle deals are, are set in a way where you have one very good, very strong tank, one strong tank, and you have one filler tank that just is there that you're probably not going to play much because it kind of doo-doo. I mean, not as much this one. This is a somewhat decent tank, but... There are other examples where you have a great tank and a filler tank. Or you just have two filler tanks, basically, like this. That's another thing. If it's too cheap, it's probably also bad. Then, ignore tier 9s and tier 10s. Obviously, 10,000 for this, no. It doesn't do anything for you. The MX M4, uh, the, M no, the MX 30 can be worth it, but all the other tier 9s, just ignore them. Uh, because I think they're not really that great of a value. The Kennedy one can be, but then again, that thing isn't really sold that often. But I think those two are the ones that are worth it. And then again, they aren't worth as much as tier 8 in terms of how much value you actually get because they make you less creds. Then tier 6, tier 7, uh, tier 5, they're just gimmicks. Those, basically, they don't bring any value unless you want them, unless you want to play with them. You know, it's like, I want to try this tank out, then there's that but i wouldn't recommend them at all to like actually buy to make credits with whatever that's what tier 8 is for these are just gimmicks obviously like a tier 5 like an su 100 um if you want to if you want to have them you know if you think they're going to be a fun time for you then obviously consider them but otherwise there are no serious concern and the same goes for like horrible bundles like this one i will make another video about which premium tanks you should have, I guess, or the ones that are the best to have. And ideally, you don't want to have, like, 20 premium tanks. You want to have three or four that you can regularly play that are good, and that's it. You don't want to have, like, 20 different ones because you don't need 20 different ones. Yes, I say that as one that has 20 different ones, but that's a different story. You know, I'm just, I'm just stupid. Don't be me. 
Then, you also have uh, these bundle deals. And actually, I don't think these are too bad. You know, stuff like this, 12,000 gold, 250 gold boosts. Again, here we have another design. You know, where in the other, where the crates, they give you extra stuff without extra cost for them. But a opportunity for them to make more money off you. This is a bundle that gives you extra value at no cost to Wargaming. Because, I mean, they all, all they have to do is increase the number. Um, but they make you play longer. 250, you have to play 250 battles to get use of all these. You know, so they keep you in game longer. Basically, it's just marketing. You have to know how it works, basically. Also, camo crates are even bigger scam than regular crates. Just If you buy camo crates, then please, please, please see a doctor you're not mentally sane. So, these free XP things can be also good. But free XP, only spend free XP on modules, never on tanks. Unless you're just crazy, basically. And that's the thing. Premium... Is not uh, the premium pass is not going to be there um, for the next month. But if you do play relatively actively, then the premium pass is pretty much the best uh, value for money that you can buy. So, is this tank good? Well, it can be if you are a good player. It does need a very good hand to make it work. If you're not a good player, if you're an average player, then stay the hell away from this thing because it is very hard to play. Basically, the bundle, I think, is worth it if you're a good player. But that's another thing. You know, there are pretty much, I think, three things that you should consider when you buy something. And that's the tank, that's you, and that's the price. If you're not good, then the amount of tanks that you should buy is relatively limited because no premium tank is going to make you a better player. It's just going to uh, be better at, well, covering up your faults, basically, if you buy something like Smasher. So, in that, buy what you think you'll do well by what you know you'll do well for example if you play the 53 tp on the way to the uh 60 tp you play that and you're like okay i'm good with this tank i can play it then you might go for something like an object to for you as a premium quite simple and then obviously it has to also be a, at a good price no tier rate is worth more than 10,000 gold ever if a tier rate is sold for 10,000 gold or more then it's either T-482 or it's scam, basically. And that's not good. But as long as people pay for it, Wargaming is going to offer it. And they're going to continue to hike up the price because if someone pays for it, it's going to be sold. And the thing is, Wargaming can sell these at zero cost because they just have to press one button and then they increase the number of supply. So the supply is basically unlimited, which is not good for you because... Yeah, they can just charge whatever, and they're still going to make profit. So, and that's the thing. Short-term profit is prioritized over everything else, and you, in the end, get screwed over. So, when you buy tanks, when you make decisions, make them wisely, and think about what you're doing. And also, buy tanks that you think are going to be good for you, and don't just buy whatever someone recommends to you. Um, because a lot of the time, some, most reviewers just review tanks for themselves. It's like, am I going to like this? Do I like this? Even though that, to you, the viewer, doesn't matter whatsoever. So, there is that. So, in the end, be careful with what you buy. Don't fall for the marketing tricks. Don't fall for all the dumb things that are being sold. Choose wisely. It's a game. It's meant to have fun. If what you buy doesn't bring you any enhancement of fun, you're just essentially throwing out everything for nothing, basically. Because things only have value if either they have value to you or if they can be sold on. And the things in Blitz can't be sold on. So unless they have value to you, they don't have any value whatsoever. So, in that sense, what I'd do is be careful. Never buy crates. Never buy crates. Completely ignore these minus 80% or whatever offers. They're completely inaccurate. Completely ignore these prices down here. You know, take a look. Compare offers. You know, don't just look at it what it is now. What has been sold before, at what price, so that you can get out with, first of all, a good tank at also a good price that you can then play for a long time and then you can get that value back out of that you spent the money on. Because otherwise, if you have a tank that's just, you play three games and it's going to rot in your garage, you've just threw away money for nothing. And if you also want to throw away money for nothing, then the join button is down there if you want to support the channel. But that is obviously optional and... You don't have to.
I probably should. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.